During World War II, the size of an air force and its total number of aircraft fluctuated based on factors such as production rates, losses in combat, and strategic priorities. At the peak of the war, the major powers had mobilized massive resources to produce, maintain, and operate aircraft. Here are the largest air forces during the war based on total aircraft strength. The United States Army Air Forces was the primary air component of the U.S. Army during and immediately after World War II. By the end of the war, the United States Army Air Force had fielded around 80,000 aircraft of all types, including fighters, bombers, transports, and trainers. The Soviet Air Force underwent a significant expansion and modernization during the war. At its peak, it is estimated to have had around 40,000 aircraft, although exact figures can vary based on sources. The German Air Force started the war with a formidable and modern air force. Peak strength was probably reached around 1942 with an estimated total of 25,000 to 30,000 aircraft, although this number declined sharply in the final years of the war due to losses and decreased production. The Royal Air Force of United Kingdom was pivotal in defending Britain during the early years of the war, especially during the Battle of Britain. Its peak strength during the war is estimated to be around 20,000 aircraft. Imperial Japanese Army and Navy Air Services, both branches of the Japanese military operated significant air components. Combined, they might have had a peak strength of around 10,000 to 15,000 aircraft during the war, but like Germany, their capability was severely diminished by the end of the conflict due to losses and reduced production. Italian Royal Air Force at the beginning of the war, Italy had a respectable air force. However, it was technologically outmatched as the war progressed. At its peak, Italian Royal Air Force might have fielded around 5,000 aircraft. These numbers are rough estimates, and exact figures can vary based on the source. It's also worth noting that while numbers provide a general sense of scale, they don't necessarily equate to combat effectiveness. Factors such as technology, pilot training, tactics, and strategic application played major roles in determining the effectiveness of an air force.